Well, welcome back. Well, the city of Denver is planning to allocate $2 million from the American Rescue Plan uh, to the Denver Basic Income Project. So what does that mean? A $9 million project that will give homeless people up to $12,000 in cash with no strings attached. Joining me right now to talk more about that is Colorado GOP Chairwoman Christy Burton-Brown. Ms. Chairwoman, thanks very much for being here this morning. This project was approved by the city council. Uh, tell us about it. Thank you for having me on, Maria. Uh, homelessness is a huge problem here in Denver. Colorado is one of the top 10 states experiencing homelessness. But this is a temporary Band-Aid that doesn't fix a real problem. It's not a compassionate solution. Money isn't the issue in fixing homelessness here in Colorado. We already spend $435 million a year, more than our entire statewide budget on the Department of Public Safety, on homelessness. And so this is an unsustainable plan that won't get to the root of the real issues on homelessness here in Denver. Well, you know, we were talking about this yesterday when I had a member of the Appropriations Committee on, and I asked her how much of the $1.9 trillion American Rescue Plan has actually been allocated, and there's a lot that has not been allocated so far, which is why many economists expect inflation to stay elevated, because much of the money hasn't even been allocated yet. So when you're giving $12,000 to the homeless uh, with no strings attached, what is the impact of that? What, 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 do you, what do you think that means longer term for inflation in Denver, for example? It's, it's terrible for inflation in Denver and in Colorado at large. Actually, right now, we are the state experiencing the highest rate of homelessness uh, under complete Democrat control of Denver and our state, 15.6% homelessness here in Colorado. And as I'm sure you know, Maria, studies tie higher rates of homelessness to high costs of living. And here in Colorado, much of our cost of living and our housing costs are at least 2% above the national average in most states. And so when you can't even rent an apartment in Denver without spending nearly $2,000 a month, a no strings attached of $1,000 a month that's unsustainable and not going to come back to these people, it doesn't solve the problem. It doesn't get them in permanent housing and it doesn't help their families. Well, the other thing, Christy, is the fact that the way that people are selected to get the money, uh, I'm struck by that. The homeless selected to benefit are supposedly chosen randomly. Uh, it's being reported that it will be yes. largely women, transgender, or non-binary individuals. So wh what, what are we doing here? It, you, we're, we're choosing transgender homeless, female homeless, or non-binary individuals to get the money? Yeah, and that was a choice by the Denver City Council. This $2 million out of the $9 million that they specifically allocated from the ARPA funds, those COVID stimulus funds that are, in fact, increasing inflation across the nation. Not only do you have to be homeless to qualify, you now have to be woke as well. Because, yes, it's directed to transgender, gender nonconforming people, some women, some families in shelters. Those are good decisions. But in Denver, 10% of our homeless population are veterans. And none of this money would go to them. None of this money goes to solving the problems for that significant group of people that make up our homeless population in Denver, uh, because they'd rather be woke than solve problems. None of the money goes to veterans. Are you serious? Yeah, they're not one of the people groups included by the Denver City Council. Wow. All right. Christy Burton-Brown, thanks very much for shining a light on it. We'll keep watching that. Uh, thank you for joining us this morning.